We have a couple pieces of exciting news to bring you guys today because, oh man, we might have a big event happening in less than a week from Nintendo with some great game announcements. Oh, I can't wait for it. And Nintendo has renewed something with a company around technology that they technically currently use, but this renewal is actually about future products and may hint at a feature for Nintendo Switch 2 that could have originated elsewhere but now might be so much better. Oh man, I can't wait to get into it. We're gonna do a small pause because this is the third time, fourth, fifth recording of this same video. But we're back folks, and let's go ahead and dive right in to what we have going on here with, well, the number one leaker in the world, P.R.O. P.R.O. came out here and he said, hey, 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 hey. Martende falls on a Sunday this year, but... And he's saying this in response to No Context Super Mario, who said, Hey, Nintendo, I think it would be really awesome if you could drop more news about March 10th. You know, about this game on March 10th. And that game, of course, being Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, which, look, this game looks incredible. It feels incredible. It's an incredible game from way back in the GameCube days. We're really happy to see this come back. Even if I don't end up buying it, we're sure still out. I like to see some new content, but it looks visually stunning and absolutely incredible. And it just seems to preserve a lot of that original while making it modern. So that's great. But we don't know when it's coming out. It just comes out sometime this year. We don't know if there's going to be a bunch of new content. We don't know a whole lot. So it will be great to actually get some news on this, assuming that this is correct, presuming that this happens. Hopefully it does. But thing is, Pioro didn't stop there, because as we scroll down, we'll see that he said, hey, also this one. And it's, you know, Luigi doing his little dance. That's right, folks. That's... uh. Let's dance with Luigi. No, see, here's the thing. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD was also announced last year. It looked a little rough around the edges. I'm going to be honest. It looked like a very poor attempt by somebody to do an HD texture pack in an emulator, and it didn't look that great. Hopefully, it looks a hell of a lot better now. Maybe it won't. I don't know. They are charging, by the way, full $59.99 for it. So $60 USD, at least here in the U.S., so hopefully it ends up looking significantly better. Maybe there's also new content in this one. This one now was announced technically for this summer. And look, I'm pretty happy to get both. Obviously, I would have liked to see the original Luigi's Mansion brought back, but maybe that'll happen on a future system. Still, this is still really good news. I think that's my biggest takeaway here is really good news. Also, if they do this on Sunday, and this is maybe like the most exciting thing to me, what this will tell me is, Every year, regardless of when March 10th happens, will always be Mario Day. All the prior ones they did, because remember, Mario Day is more of a newer thing for Nintendo. All the prior years they did Mario Day was always during the week. So the fact that this lines on a Sunday, and if Nintendo makes all these announcements on a Sunday, that just means every year we could just literally just mark it on our calendars, March 10th. Every year is Mario Day. They're going to have announcements. They're going to have stuff happening. Kind of like we know Pokemon Day is always on a certain time of the month. We can always know we're going to get a Pokemon Presents and all that. We can rely on that every year. We can rely on this every year. That would be really cool. Now, there could be other announcements as well. Pioro could tease more as the week goes on. We have to remember, though, that these teases and things are all just likely and probably. I wouldn't say 100%. This is all fact. Pioro does not have a 100% track record. Recently, maybe got some stuff wrong for the Pokemon Presents. However, he also said he doesn't know what's in the Pokemon Presents. I think that's an important distinction here. The thing he heard about Pokemon ages ago doesn't need to be in the Presents. So, I don't know. Take it for what you will. Grain of salt. It is just a rumor. Just a rumor for the most reliable Nintendo leaker on the planet. So, take that for what you will. Now, we're not done because, look, Nintendo renewed something with a company that actually is a pretty big deal when it comes to the future of, well, their gaming consoles. And what company are we talking about? Well, none other than this article over at My Nintendo News, where it says Nintendo and Immersion have renewed haptic tech patent license. And this is the key terms for future 
products. So you know what we're hinting at here. Scrolling on down, it says Immersion, who helps supply haptic technology to various companies, has announced that it has renewed its haptic patent license with Nintendo. The haptic technology is used in the Nintendo Switch's unique Joy-Con controllers for the Nintendo Switch. Immersion says that the renewal of the license agreement with Nintendo means that the Kyoto-based company can continue using the haptic feedback technology in its future product offerings, which is widely expected to be the Nintendo Switch 2. Now, I went ahead and looked at this press release just to make sure that, that those terms were in there. It's in a foreign language. We used machine learning. It does look like this is exactly what they're talking about. This isn't about the current Switch. This is about the next thing because I guess they had a perpetual license for the current one. So like anything they already use the tech in, they can continue to use it in, but that doesn't apply to future new devices. Well, now this agreement here does apply to that. And if you guys remember, then we're talking about HD Rumble. Okay, the, the, these little Joy-Cons here have this technology in it called HD Rumble that Nintendo advertised pretty heavily heading into launch, but honestly has been used pretty sparingly. There's a few indie games that use it pretty well. We have games like 1-2 Switch and a, a couple of WarioWare actually uses some of the tech in these pretty interestingly. But for the most part, Nintendo's major games do not use HD Rumble. And to be honest, as cool as HD Rumble is in the use cases it is used in, it's entirely old news at this point thanks to the PlayStation 5 and the DualSense controller. This also has a bunch of haptic feedback technology that took Rumble even beyond what HD Rumble is. In fact, this is almost like the full realization, in my opinion, of what Nintendo was trying to do with HD Rumble, just in a much smaller thing. Like, look at the size of the controllers, right? Like, obviously, they have a lot more room in here to do much bigger things. And that's one thing about the tension on the triggers. That, again, isn't going to be possible in something this small. So I, I really do like what Sony did with this, and they use it in all of their like big games. You know, you play Spider-Man 2, the web slinging in it feels fantastic with this controller. Definitely a step up from the PlayStation 4. What, I want, what I'm hoping, though, is that it's not just, hey, we're reusing HD Rumble in Switch 2 Joy-Cons, which may be a smidge bigger if the reports around it being an 8-inch screen are correct. But let's say they take the Joy-Cons and even make them a bit more ergonomic for Joy-Con 2s or whatever they call them. That would actually give them more room for even better haptic technology. And with the way we've seen the technology advance with the PlayStation 5, I think that Immersion probably has better haptic tech than they did 10 years ago. Remember, this was probably implemented inside these Joy-Cons at a testing stage a decade ago. I bet you that whatever's in here... There's way better versions at this company, and with the patent now renewed and extended for new products, I do think that that could mean better rumble technology in the new system. Now, again, this is just speculation, sort of. Like, the news is there. HD rumble just expected to be in the next system, but I, I just want to see that they're going with a newer, better, more improved version because I've got to admit, after experiencing it on here... Man, it really does add to the immersion of gameplay. And we all know Nintendo loves you to get immersed in their games. So giving us like the actual haptic tech that could really make the Zelda team and the Xenoblade team and the Mario team really want to take full advantage would just be awesome to me. But I don't know. That's just my opinion. I think we're going to end things there. Thank you so much for being here. We're back. You know, I should have had a video up a few days ago, but it is what it is. It's our first actual video here in the month of March. We're hitting it hard the rest of this month. we got lots of things coming your way. We have a gaming live stream later today. We have a regular live stream with a workout later today as well. And uh, the Milwaukee Bucks play tonight, which is exciting for me. might not be exciting for you. Uh, and, yes, we're continuing our weight loss journey. For those who don't know, we are officially down 15 pounds. And my next weigh ins on Wednesday, so we'll see how much I'm down at that point. I'm really sticking it to my diet. I've been, it's been hard. I've been challenged with family gatherings and parties to avoid certain foods and, and not engorge myself. And I've been very sticking to it and sticking to my workouts. Hope you guys are on this journey with us because we do have our pre-workout with my personal trainer, Paul Gale, tonight for you know a good 20-minute workout or so right before we start our big stream tonight. Thank you guys for being here, and we'll catch you in the next video.